Hi, my name is Bruce Levin. I'm a professor of environmental engineering at Penn State University. In my laboratory, we're researching ways to treat wastewater and generate electricity using microbial fuel cells like these shown over here. Microbial fuel cells can generate electricity, but the problem is, is that they can't fully treat the wastewater. And so what we've been doing is developing anaerobic fluidized bed reactors, which look like these reactors right here, which are able to fully treat the wastewater and remove the organic matter down to levels suitable for discharging the treated wastewater into the environment. The purpose of this video is to give you instructions on how to construct one of these anaerobic membrane fluidized bed reactors. In the fluidized bed reactor, granular activated carbon particles are fluidized and they strike and clean the uh, membranes in the reactor. And this is an example of the AFMBR. This is just showing some activated carbon particles. These are very small particles that are made out of um, many different renewable materials like peach bits, coconut bits, and things like that. So this is a schematic of the components of the membrane bioreactor. You can see that there are several hollow fiber membranes which are at the end covered with parafilm. Once covered, this uh, assembly of membrane fibers are pushed into a plastic collection vessel. We just use a pipette tip from the laboratory uh, pipetter. Then we epoxy inside and outside of the uh, fibers to hold it in place. And once it's fully done, the system is completely assembled. You can see the fully assembled hollow fiber assembly here with the plastic on the top and the hollow fibers sticking out of the bottom. Li Zhao Ren, the senior author of the paper that you were shown at the beginning of this video, will now give you some advice on assembling the membrane module. First, we have already carved these long membranes to the shorter ones. Just to uh, just to uh, degel the lungs that you need. And then we need some of these parafumes. Before you put it on, you need to stretch it a little bit because you want a very, very thin layer just on one end of its membranes. Then cut off the rest. Then do the same thing to all the rest. Uh, it will prevent the hypoxic going inside the membranes. Okay. We'll glue it. Otherwise, it will stop the the inside, the hollow right. inside. So for our case, totally we just need eight. Then just bust them together. Yeah. The next thing is cutting this. Then we need to find something to, to let it stand and dry. This is all the material that we need to build the FMBR. So first this tube and you can just connect it this way. Before you put it on you need some this kind of PTFE sealed tape. Then you put each of these T tools on each end. This is the upper end, this is the top end. 
For the top end, you need to put this glued tube on this side. Put all these valves on. finished to building the whole bodies of the AFMBR. That concludes the video and I hope you found it useful in telling you how you might construct one of these reactors. Be sure to read the paper and the supporting information available from the Environmental Science and Technology Journal website.